Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of uh, the Transport Planner Says. In the last episode, we laid out the um, the right of way, and I'll show it to you using districts over there. So we did the right of way over there, and there's sections of the kind of planned right of way that I'm not filled in. Uh, but now we've got so I've got the main and these are all just national highways for now just to kind of indicate to me where my big roads will go eventually and what I'm what I but what I'm going to talk to you a bit about today is interconnectivity and walkability the need for pedestrian walkways so and and interconnectivity so as you would remember in the previous episodes so I've gone and I've expanded some of these areas a little bit just to uh, to not bore you to death with some of the very basics so the first things first so you would remember we had this is an isolated section and that is an isolated section uh, and that's that which is still an isolated section over there we had the, this area out here this area over here and then you kind of had to go around through there so interconnectivity is of course so so the way the way transport planning and this isn't this isn't rocket science but the way transport planning really works is it connects um, areas of trip generation so let's say there's a few people living here and they work here trip generation with uh, areas of trip attraction and that's why uh, my right of way had a direct connection or a, as direct a connection to this area as possible uh, this area and this area are both residential so they do not necessarily need to have that direct connection but they still have something fairly close the other thing that I was that we had is we had these two areas separated from each other but of course that had all traffic would have had all traffic funnel this way and wouldn't have had an easy way of getting there uh, and also not an easy walking way so this is a very very long distance to be walking so what I want to talk about now is walkability it is important in any city not just in city skylines to make sure that your developments are walkable it is very popular in neighborhood type of environments like this to use to make use of dead ends and these I've got this little kind of asset from the from the workshop to show so show the very kind of tiny dead ends over here but dead, so dead ends is extremely popular for residential community kind of areas the reason for it is because it is low traffic so kids can play in the streets and that kind of thing people can ride their bikes and so on is, what is that, is that that was like a motorbike and there's not a lot of traffic going on because it's only the few people over here that makes use of this that live here that makes use of it but what also is the negative impact and why there's a lot of kind of negative um, there's a lot of negative things going around around in the planning kind of field with regards to dead ends so this was a very kind of suburban suburban thing to do and these days it's all about inner city living interconnectivity transit orientated developments and the like but uh, but it still has its benefits the only thing that we you definitely need to do is make sure that you actually do interconnect things so as you would see over here I've added some walkways so we're not allowing cars to travel through here and through here so that it's a nice and slow pedestrian kind of environment but pedestrians can also make use of these little walkways to link from area to area so that's that's basically the deal with uh, with walkways uh, in every situation where your road network is taking a, a long way around and there's no direct connection to destinations it is always good to have a bit of a walkway so I will go back to the Oakmore town over here and I will show you this section so again dead ends no problem with the dead ends the big problem though is that people living here has got such a long way to to, uh, to walk I know you can it, it looks like you can just walk straight across here but obviously in city skylines you cannot and in most cities well in many cities you would actually find a like grassy field area and people would just walk over that uh, but in many cities that's not possible or the case so what I would suggest is in any places where you have dead ends is that you would actually connect um, the dead ends to the rest of the road network 
it doesn't have to connect everywhere but uh, typically key desire lines is what is what is looked at um, and so on to make sure that that can actually connect so if we go over here two nice two dead ends we've got over here and we should link them together uh, as well as link this area to uh, the main road and yeah that's a little bit because of the snapping that's that's a bit, a bit awkward over here would have been cool to do the same thing straight through there but now I've already that's already gone and filled up the other thing that would work quite well and can I switch this off I should be able to right there we go the other thing that would be awesome can I I'll just switch off the snapping for a second uh, let's see if we can squeeze something through there and we most definitely can so let's do that there you go that is a proper piece of walkway oh one thing to bear in mind roundabouts are horrible for pedestrians they might work fairly well for traffic and I will still have a discussion with you on the roundabouts in uh, in a future episode but uh, one thing to bear in mind is that roundabouts are oh it's squeezed in nice I like it roundabouts are terrible for pedestrians and let me kind of explain that to you so that you I impart a bit of knowledge the reason roundabouts are so horrible is because a car coming here needs to look to the left okay so he's not looking at this location here let's say there was a pedestrian let me uh, just take the mouse button let's say there's a pedestrian over here that wants to cross the street this way a car coming in this direction is looking to his left to see this car coming okay so to see for the gap so if there's no car there's a gap and he can go people and so if this pedestrian even if he's got a walkway there if this pedestrian steps into the road the car is actually not looking to this side but is looking to that side and that's the reason why roundabouts are so horrible the other thing uh, problem that roundabouts have is uh, they're not great environments of cyclists so over here you see the cyclists on the pedestrian walkway but um, ideally speaking uh, a cyclist is seen as a as a vehicle in especially in a lower speed environment and so you're supposed to kind of take the lane but cyclists um, especially if it's smaller roundabouts and cars want to kind of try and overtake cyclists in a roundabout that's not great so those are the that's the kind of reason why roundabouts um, as a as a, as an intersection is not great for for allowing a uh, good pedestrian connectivity good cycling access access so that's that's part of the the reason why it is a, is a problem okay so i still need to do a fair bit of uh, uh, residential zoning so what i might do is i might actually um, connect these two developments up like so yeah look at that that's pretty cool and what I'll also do is I will see about extending the pedestrian areas a bit so if I do that that's pretty cool uh, and I'm gonna do one like so and then one like I'm not gonna be able to squeeze in another so what I'll probably do is I'll just do one like that there we go and what we could do is we could actually but I think this is this is not gonna work if we do that because it's, uh, it's 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 not bad but it's not great either so I'm gonna remove that section through there and we'll <laughs> that's not never gonna work so what we could do is we could just connect it through the middle here something like that so this will actually actually um, result in some through movement uh, but because it's a bit of a zigzag we're expecting traffic to just go straight most of the time uh, let me get my uh, my cool um, my cool, cool uh, uh, dead ends uh, if I can get it to line up that would be awesome now have I gone too far with this trim that back and I trim that back what is that yeah that can work okay let's uh, let's roll out some more um, ooh and now we see we're crossing district lines over here 
we are crossing the strict lines so let's uh, let's keep an eye on that as we go forward so there's a bit of a bit of a residential area over here I am gonna fill in this section as well make sure that we get nice and plenty of pedestrian uh, of pedestrian residential guys oh, silly silly shouting at me probably okay so there we go so filling in a bit of a residential over here so this area is growing nicely we still want to bear in mind that eventually we'll grow nice and tall over here but I think for now we're just gonna slowly try and extend these areas out ever so ever so slowly it's a nice big one there um, I don't want to do that let's uh, let's rather do this one over here and I'll also fill in all of that that's good and I'll see about filling in the rest of this uh, these areas are pretty slow speed so we can have someone in the corners over there I know I'll try to keep those open for a uh, future safeguarding this is this is gonna be pretty cool so I just keep filling that in a little bit okay so that's uh, walkability and interconnectivity so definitely something that we do uh, and again so this new mod that I've got on here is uh, is resulting in some problems okay so I will extend this one through there I think that's a good idea and I will extend this one up and along here mm, I'll probably need to run it through there and through there and through there there we go so all of them are up and running how's our traffic doing over here all working yeah nicely nicely okay so um, all I've got you our interconnectivity is not just um, with regards to short distance um, shorter distances it's also with regard to longer distances so now what you would find is now there's a requirement for for people to move between areas I think you will find that from a, from a public transit point of view so let's say um, I'm gonna pop in a bus depot somewhere over there that's fine and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few kind of bus stops or bus routes and to be honest it's gonna pretty much be point-to-point -point kind of services so let me go all the way to the end I've got a cool bus station uh, can I get out of this and see how this bus station looks wow that's pretty awesome I like it and uh, this one non-stop bus terminal bus station So, um, what the hell is a non-stop bus terminal in this sense anyway I think that's pretty cool it's a perfect kind of ah that is pretty good I'm gonna pop it in there so I've got a bus terminal over here how does that look I like it I like it cool we'll see how it works now um, and what I'll do is I will go to each one of these areas pop in a bus station and I'll try to stick it to the center of it and this is how we're gonna interconnectivity how we're gonna interconnect the various areas so for now we're not really gonna focus too much on the routes per se we're gonna look into oh and this one I will pretty much put it over here so that we've got a bit to work with yeah there we go um, I will put in another one and I'm gonna see about doing this a little bit more centrally uh, let's do something like that okay so interconnectivity between areas or regions right or towns so I've got my bus station so now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do start a route over here there we go and it's gonna go all the way over here and it'll go back there we go there is our first bus route up and running and what I'll do is I will just make sure to 
Uh, where's my vehicles? Select vehicle type. What's going on? Uh, ooh, where, uh, here we are. Uh, so let's remove vehicles. One, two, three, four. Remove them. Remove them. I'm just going to do the standard 12 meter one, and I'll put like four on this line. I think that should be fine. So let's say one, two, three, four, and that should be fine. That's bus line one. I'll stick to bus line one for now. The next one I want to put in is from here to here. Okay, and back. So now there's a bit of a, a routing going on. So I want to again uh, just remove all the vehicles. I want to select a type. We'll go with the 12 and say 1, 2, 3, 4. That should hopefully be sufficient. So that's that'll start running. I want to add another from here and that one can come into this station and go back. And this is where you actually see that I'm not taking in that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and this one will stop. Okay. So we'll grab this one, go in there and stop and then again uh, on, the, on, the, on the inbound way as well. So it'll stop in both directions because it's so close you may as well use that routing to stop there and pick up more people. So that now we're interconnecting uh, larger areas. The next step of it is actually improving the coverage. So the next step is we take a bus route over here and now what we do is we uh, we try and extend coverage through um, through running it along along areas. So we'll and and bus routes. Uh, yeah, avoid doing the kinks, right? So they'll just kind of run in here and we can stop over there because they can actually use that pathway and around there I think that's what we'll do and around uh, oh, and maybe what we'll do is we will actually bring it in here Okay, like so, and in there, and in here, and then route it back all the way. Now, if we That's fine. They don't. They don't turn over there. So okay. Now remove these vehicles. Do, 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 all of them. Select a vehicle type. I'm just going to go with the 12, and we'll add one, two, three, four, four of them. All right. And now they'll make their way this way. So we've got a bit of a distribution network on this side, and probably do a distribution network over there as that area expands, and so on. And this is the start of a public transport system. So what you would find that is in general these kind of services don't uh, can, can, can start as point-to-point -point services and then as things happen so as development along this road starts to improve um, you would find that it makes sense to have more and more stops along it and that then becomes a bus line and then you've got a local kind of distribute uh, local local distributor area where you are kind of just picking up people from from a coverage perspective so that's that's kind of the way it starts out and then it flares out from there okay guys so that's been uh, another episode of transport planner says it's not been a very exciting one it is just the start of the city and as we grow we will get into more and more complex topics um, and just kind of have a high level discussion on a lot of the little elements that, um, that that we basically use for transport planning. Now that I think about it, this road probably needs to connect all the way to there as part of the road network. So anyway, we'll do that. We'll do that as we go. Um, yes, so I'm Exact Chaos and this has been Transport Planet Says. If you have any questions or queries or problems with your own cities, 
let me know in the comments below and we will address them in this series as we go along if you've liked this episode and this series please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it with your friends that you think might benefit from this or would find this interesting and yes have a good day